Good afternoon and happy weekend, oil traders. It is Sunday, October 15th. It's 2.21 p.m. And I thought we'd do a review of the week previous, um, week from October 9th to the, through the 13th. We basically, basically saw crude climb from almost as low as $49 to almost as high as $52. So quite a, uh, a bullish path um, this past week. Um, and uh, I kind of surprised myself when I look back at the results for myself in my account um, and noticed that I had profited both from long and short um, on this uh, kind of bullish week uh, past here, uh, which I guess should make me feel good. It sort of sucks that I'm of course bearish and I'm no longer holding any long positions and uh, we still seem to be on a bullish path um, up to and perhaps past $52, which makes me a little bit uncomfortable, I must admit. Um, that being said, I'm in a much better position today than I was two weeks ago or even last week. So um, my trading strategy is definitely working for me, um, you know, all things equal. Um, I'm certainly overall, I'm, I, depending on how you look at it, I'm, I'm up uh, for the year. But, uh, you know, this past week's bullishness has definitely put me in an unrealized loss position, um, of course. That being said, I am collecting profits every week. So if you take those profits up out against the unrealized losses, I'm still doing really, really well for the year. Um, in any case, let's get into the detail. So basically, I sold one long and I sold two shorts for a combined profit of just north of $1,000 exactly a thousand dollars sixty eight and change um, so basically uh, the previous Friday I had bought a long expecting potentially to see some sort of bullishness um, of course we climbed much higher than I anticipated and I sold that long position for 4.24 percent um, which was you know really really nice of course it was still well off the highs that we would eventually see um, I could have probably doubled that, uh, as you can see here, um, the October 10th sale was for the October 6th long, long position, HOU is the Horizon ETF, uh, bullish ETF, uh, and here's the 4.24% and the $608 and uh, change there. So there's the buy price and sale price on the ETF ticker, and on Thursday, basically on Wednesday, we started the decline. Um, so I purchased shorts um, as we went up previously. So on the 10th and the 11th, I purchased shorts. So basically, as we were going up, I was buying shorts. So following the sale of the long position for profit, I was buying shorts. So I bought there and then I bought near the highs and then I sold both um, when we dove down. Um, so that was an average return of 1.86 percent or 400 about 460 dollars there on that position or those two positions i should say um, the reason i sold two positions one of which was um, just marginally in the money was because of my expectation to be able to reposition that on any subsequent um, climb back up which is exactly what did happen and i repurchased that at least one of the long positions at a better price of 50.70 as opposed to the 50.55 position that I had previously held. Um, I sold those near the lows, not quite at the low, which typically is the case for me. But nonetheless, I am in a better position this week than I was last week. So, hey, I shouldn't be complaining. It does suck to see this bullishness, um, like I said, without holding a long position at this time, but I will be, <laughs> I should say I will be trying to be more aggressive with my long purchases. Um, I'm still letting my beliefs uh, kind of dictate too much of my trading and uh, it's not necessarily hurting me but it's certainly causing me to miss some opportunities. Uh, so I plan, I, like I said, I purchased one of the two shorts that I sold again and I plan on purchasing the second if we open on Monday with any intention of touching 52. So if we open at basically 51 and a half or higher, um, I'll probably just buy the short. Um, closer to 52 would make it that much more attractive. 
Um, but I had sold those two short positions with the intention of repositioning them, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, and as you can imagine, my expectation is that we will drop again. Um, will we drop and continue to drop, or will we drop simply to rebound back up? Your guess is as good as mine. But let me know what you think. Hit me up down below in the comments on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my results, performance, portfolio, etc., etc. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys ahead of trading tomorrow morning on Monday at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Until then, good luck. Cheers.